Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown at Alkaline for Life. Today I'm here with Heather, our, our well-known dietitian. <laughs> you know, this is the summertime. We all love being outside, but we're concerned about skin. I'm certainly concerned about how to protect the skin from sunlight exposure, from ultraviolet radiation damage. So I asked Heather to, to look at the nutrients and see are there any particular nutrients that can protect us and how do we use the nutrients and I myself took upon that same task and we came up with two great nutrients that can really help with protecting the skin from sunlight exposure. So what did you come up with, Heather? What was the nutrient that stood right out? Well, as per usual, vitamin C is a star for skincare as well. I saw it's great not only on the skin and in skincare products, but also supplementing with vitamin C turned out to make people less sensitive to the sun. So they found if they, the research study showed if you gave people vitamin C, they were less sensitive to sunburn? Yep, less sensitive to sunburn. They could take more like UV radiation before having that damage. Right, and any other benefits? Like does it protect the skin from aging and does it protect the skin from being overly sensitive in addition to? Yeah, yeah, it, it enhanced the sunscreen activity. It also was great, you know, topically to reduce aging. Too, so, so topically they would take a vitamin D solution in water and like spray it on or? Yeah, yep, that or, I mean, it's in a lot of different or put cream. creams and things like that right. as well, so. Yeah. Vitamin C, our favorite nutrient, our favorite, the number one water-soluble antioxidant. Come to find out it can really help the skin if you take it internally and if you apply it externally. Right. Neat. Right. You know, and I set myself to the same task with another nutrient that actually I find to be one of the nutrients, just like vitamin C, that during 300,000 years of human evolution, we consumed a lot of this nutrient. Now we don't consume very much. That nutrient also protects from damage of the sun, and that is the omega-3 fats. Mm -hmm. This was kind of a surprise to me. There's been quite a few good pieces of research showing that omega-3 fats, you remember those, DHA, EPA, what we tend to think of as fish oils, but really they're produced by plants. It's just that the plants eat the fish. And really, during human evolution, we ate many, many of these omega-3 fats. In fact, we had as omega many omega-3 fats as we have omega-6s, like from the beans and the nuts and seeds we get today. Mm -hmm. It was a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, it is sometimes a one-to-ten ratio, or even just one omega-3 fats to maybe 25 omega-6 fats. As it turns out, those omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA, are very protective of the skin. And what they found is that in these clinical trials, they would give individuals 4,000 milligrams, which actually wow. is the ideal dose for bone also, three or 4,000. And those people had resistance to sunburn. Again, they can measure very specifically, they had much less resistance to sunburn. They, they were less photosensitive. They actually had, had many markers of less photo aging, just like with vitamin C. And they even found that was very protective of the DNA in the cells. This taking the omega-3 fats internally, 3,000, 4,000 milligrams of EPA, DHA. Then another very interesting researcher said, well, let's see what happens if we apply it topically. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, they applied that fish oil topically and they got a great benefit. It actually was absorbed into the tissue, protected the DNA, the, protected the DNA of the cells, of the skin cells, I thought that was particularly interesting. So what I did is I took, I have a very interesting kind of omega-3 fat. It doesn't smell too much like fish. Put it on my face, felt really nice. I'm gonna see how it goes myself. And we're gonna mix it with a little vitamin C and maybe a little vitamin E would be terrific. Um, it's striking that these nutrients that we evolved on over 300,000 years, high vitamin C, high omega-3 fats, actually are protective of this, protect the skin What's the skin, our outermost organ? And our biggest organ. Our biggest yeah. organ, and our skin protects us. We can protect the skin. Omega-3 fats, vitamin C. Have some fun with it and stay safe this summer.